Thank you. Well, hey, are you feeling blue? The answer to that when you're playing in Boise is most definitely always a yes. Sports Central's Andrew Martin is covering tomorrow's Mountain West Championship game in Boise. He joins us now to talk about colors. Hey, Andrew. Megan, tomorrow's game between Fresno State and Boise State for the 2018 Mountain West Championship will be the latest chapter in the rivalry. Now, these two teams have met a lot, and we talked about that earlier at 5 o'clock, but what's unique about this particular setting is the blue turf. Now, Boise State is world famous for the blue turf. It's actually trademarked, if you can believe that. Fresno State has not had much success on the blue turf. In fact, the Bulldogs have never beaten Boise State on this blue turf. They have won twice here before, two bowl games in 2004 and 2007. But the last time the Bulldogs beat the Broncos in Boise was 1984, 34 years ago. The blue turf wasn't installed until 1986, so it's been a long time for both. Now, if you ask Coach Tedford about the color of the field, he has a very strong answer. Take a listen. To me, that field is 53 and a third yards wide, and it's 100 yards long, and it has lines on it just like every other field. So, you know, when we get out there on the field, our, our eyes shouldn't be looking down at the blue turf. Our eyes are looking across at our opponent and doing our best to compete and, and uh, try to be successful. Coach Tedford obviously has a lot of respect for Boise State, but that's what he thinks about the color of the field. And by the way, coach, you're not the only coach to lose here on the blue turf. Since 1970, Boise State has the second highest winning percentage of any and I mean any team in college football at home. Number one, Alabama. It's pretty good company. We're live tonight in Boise, Idaho, side of the Mountain West Championship game. I'm Andrew Martin for Sports Central. Megan, back to you. Andrew, thanks so much. Developing.